Newton's understanding of gravity was good enough to get us to the moon. Ever feel lost in time, wondering if we really understand what it is? Well, Newton's find is more than just an idea. It's a key that might unlock the secrets of the universe, showing us a cosmos that's far wilder than we thought. How does Brian Cox's new idea challenge what we think about time? And what implications might it have for our perspective? Come with us as we explore Brian Cox's fresh, mind-blowing idea about what time is in the vast cosmos around us. There are puzzles waiting to be solved, and many have to do with time and gravity, both huge parts of our lives. Imagine a world where time acts strangely, slowing down or speeding up. Also, the force that keeps us on the ground might not be what we believe it is. This is where Albert Einstein's theories of relativity come in. They offer a new take on time and gravity. Einstein, a name everyone knows, gave us a new way to view the universe with his theories of relativity. His work helped us understand how time behaves in different situations, like when objects move extremely fast. It all started in the early 1900s when Einstein introduced two major ideas. Special and general relativity. Special relativity, introduced in 1905, changed how we see time and space. Simply put, it says the rules of physics are the same for everyone who isn't accelerating, no matter how they're moving. Under certain conditions, this concept suggests things like time stretching or slowing down. A cool thought experiment to explain this is the light clock. Imagine you're in a spaceship moving near the speed of light. Inside, a beam of light bounces between two mirrors. Physics says the speed of light stays constant for everyone. So, for someone outside the ship, the light appears to travel a longer, angled path. The time it takes the light to make this journey should be the same for both observers, inside and outside. But since the path is longer for the outside observer, it seems like it takes longer. This time difference is what Einstein called time dilation. Time moves slower for the person who is moving compared to someone standing still. In other words, your speed affects how time behaves. This isn't just a thought experiment. Scientists use massive machines like the Large Hadron Collider to accelerate particles close to the speed of light. At such speeds, time behaves differently, and we need to account for this to make accurate predictions and measurements. Einstein's special relativity revolutionized how we understand the universe, especially time and motion. Contrary to everyday experience, it says, the laws of physics are the same for everyone, even if they're not at rest. This defies our daily intuition, where we assume adding speed simply makes something faster. But Einstein showed there's a speed limit, the speed of light. With this in mind, events that seem to happen simultaneously for us may not appear that way to someone moving near light speed. Another outcome of special relativity is length contraction. This means that objects appear shorter in the direction they're moving when viewed from a stationary point. And there's the famous equation E equals mc squared, showing that energy and mass are interchangeable, key to understanding how particles behave at high speeds and explaining phenomena like nuclear reactions. Special relativity has real-world applications. It's not just theory. We rely on it in technologies like GPS GPS satellites move rapidly, and because of this, time ticks slightly differently for them. If we didn't account for time dilation in GPS calculations, our location data would be wildly inaccurate. So, special relativity teaches us that time isn't absolute. It depends on motion. This challenges our everyday understanding of time and space, suggesting our typical view of the universe may be flawed. Time isn't fixed. Change comes from motion. Core ideas like the constancy of the speed of light and the relationship between energy and mass have been tested and proven countless times. But there's more. Einstein's General Relativity, published in 1915, digs deeper into the link between gravity and the structure of the universe. It changes the traditional idea of gravity as just a pulling force. Instead, it shows that gravity arises from the curvature of space and time. In other words, gravity isn't some invisible force. It's simply how objects move through curved spacetime. According to Brian Cox, general relativity requires us to think of the universe as four-dimensional, three spatial dimensions and one of time. Massive objects like stars, planets, and even humans bend space and time around them. This curvature is what we perceive as gravity. Imagine spacetime as a large, stretchy sheet. 
When something heavy like earth sits on it it creates a dip. If you place something smaller near it like a ball it rolls into the dip. This is how gravity works, not because of a pulling force but because of space-time curvature. General relativity explains the motion of planets in our solar system, such as Earth orbiting the Sun. It predicts planetary paths more accurately than older theories of gravity. One major confirmation of general relativity came during the solar eclipse of 1919, when Sir Arthur Eddington led a team to observe how starlight bent as it passed the Sun. The theory predicted the Sun's mass would curve the starlight slightly. Einstein was right and the observations supported his theory. Just as motion affects our perception of time, gravity does too. In regions of strong gravity, time moves slower than in weaker gravitational fields. So, if you were standing near a black hole, your clock would run slower compared to one farther away. General relativity introduces black holes, regions where gravity is so strong that even light can't escape. The edge of a black hole is called the event horizon, the point of no return. Once anything crosses it, it's pulled in forever. Einstein's general relativity has profound implications for our understanding of the universe. He initially added a term called the cosmological constant to his equations, thinking the universe was static. But when evidence showed the universe is expanding, he called that addition his biggest blunder. An expanding universe is a key part of the Big Bang theory, which describes the origin of everything. Another groundbreaking idea from general relativity is gravitational waves, ripples in space and time caused by massive objects moving rapidly, such as merging black holes. Einstein's prediction was confirmed in 2015 when scientists at LIGO detected gravitational waves. Over time, scientists have rigorously tested general relativity, and it continues to hold up, whether by observing planets, detecting bent light, or spotting gravitational waves. Still, in physics, questioning accepted theories is part of progress. Saying gravity is a myth may sound absurd, but it reflects how science remains open to new ideas. Scientists like Brian Cox often explore unconventional theories. One is modified Newtonian dynamics, MOND, which suggests gravity behaves differently at low accelerations, such as in galaxies, possibly removing the need for dark matter. Mond posits that gravity increases at low speeds rather than assuming there's unseen matter. The conversation about gravity also includes dark matter and dark energy, concepts introduced to explain certain cosmic phenomena. Some argue that we might not need these if alternative theories explain observations better. Researchers who challenge Einstein's gravity explore new particles or forces that could reshape our understanding. Importantly, in science, new ideas aren't discarded they're tested. For instance, Einstein's concept of space-time as a four-dimensional fabric that restricts time travel due to the speed of light has been explored through concepts like wormholes. Stephen Hawking's chronology protection conjecture, which you've begun to mention, takes this further, proposing that the laws of physics prevent time travel on practical scales. Let me know if you'd like to expand on this part. Protection makes time travel into the past unlikely in physics. New tests and observations aim to see if these new theories can explain gravity in a way that fits what we know. But many ideas haven't really replaced the known rules of gravity. Questioning ideas is key for science to grow and to gain a better understanding of the universe. In gravity theories, general relativity is still the most important. Even with new ideas, it continues to perform well and explains phenomena like planetary motion and light bending. General relativity endures because it's simple and widely applicable. Einstein's special relativity states that time can change based on your speed. Let's see how this plays out in real life, particularly in space. Space travel is exciting but challenging due to its vastness. The fastest speed is the speed of light, so moving between stars is difficult, even with advanced technology. To understand how time changes in space, consider the twin paradox. One twin stays on Earth while the other takes a high-speed journey to a distant star. When the spacefaring twin returns, they've aged more slowly than the one on Earth. In essence, they've moved into the future. Space travelers experience time differently. The longer and faster the journey, the slower time moves for them. If astronauts travel to nearby stars where time slows significantly, 
They'd age more slowly than people on Earth. This may sound like science fiction but it's real physics. Imagine humans sending a crew to a distant star. Even if they travel quickly, the journey would take years. Due to time dilation, astronauts would experience time more slowly. Meanwhile, much more time would pass on Earth. Time dilation affects technology too. Computers and communication systems on spacecraft must account for time changes to function correctly. Space travel also poses physiological challenges, like isolation, exposure to cosmic radiation, and long-term distance from Earth. In daily life, we see time dilation in GPS GPS systems rely on accurate timing signals from satellites. Because these satellites are moving, time slows down for them. Therefore, to ensure accuracy, these effects must be included in calculations. Ignoring time dilation would result in navigational errors. Why do we only move forward in time? Time governs our lives, flowing from past to present to future. But why is time one way? To understand this, we turn to entropy, how disordered things are. Entropy is tied to time's direction and tends to increase, pushing time to move forward. The second law of thermodynamics states that in a closed system, entropy will either increase or stay the same. Entropy likes to grow. It never decreases on its own. A deeper exploration. The nature of time. Time as we perceive it is intricately linked to entropy. Entropy, a fundamental principle in thermodynamics, measures the level of disorder in a system. The second law of thermodynamics says that in an isolated system, entropy increases over time, transitioning from order to disorder. This principle governs physical systems and explains why time flows in one direction. Box learning example. Consider a sandcastle. It represents a state of low entropy with high order. Over time, natural forces like wind and erosion reduce it to a sandpile. Higher entropy. This illustrates how systems tend to evolve toward disorder, reinforcing the forward flow of time. Gravity and the fabric of space-time. Building upon Einstein's theory of general relativity, gravity is more than just a force. It shows how mass and energy bend space. Massive objects like stars and planets warp the fabric of space-time, and this curvature guides the motion of objects, including light. This revolutionized our understanding of gravity, from an invisible force acting at a distance to a result of space-time geometry. One compelling example is gravitational lensing. Light from distant stars bends around massive objects like galaxies. This occurs because the mass of a galaxy curves the space-time the light travels through, changing its path. Such phenomena offer tangible proof of the dynamic relationship between mass, energy, and space-time. Black holes. Singularities in space-time. One of general relativity's most intriguing predictions is the black hole. Regions of space-time where gravity is so intense that nothing, not even light, can escape. At the core lies the singularity, where space-time curvature becomes infinite, and current physics breaks down. The event horizon marks the point of no return. Black holes remain both mysterious and fascinating. Thanks to advanced tools like the Event Horizon Telescope, scientists have captured images of black hole horizons, providing empirical data to support theoretical models. These findings validate relativity and open new paths to exploring the essence of gravity and spacetime. Time travel. Theoretical possibilities and constraints. Time travel has long fascinated humanity. Within general relativity, some solutions to Einstein's equations allow for closed time-like curves, paths that loop through space-time, theoretically enabling travel to the past. However, these often require exotic conditions, like negative energy or hypothetical structures such as wormholes. Stephen Hawking proposed the chronology protection conjecture suggesting that the laws of physics may prevent time travel to the past to avoid paradoxes. While time dilation, where time passes differently for observers in relative motion, is proven and used in real applications, actual back-and-forth time travel remains speculative. Mathematics The language of the universe. Mathematics allows us to express and understand nature's laws. Physicist Brian Cox notes that our experience teaches us there are laws of nature, and math is the best way to describe them. 
The power of mathematical models to predict natural events highlights the deep connection between math and reality. Tools like tensor calculus and general relativity let scientists describe gravitational fields and space-time curvature accurately. These frameworks help physicists make precise predictions and deepen their understanding of the cosmos. The expanding universe. The universe is expanding, evidenced by galaxies moving away from us at speeds proportional to their distance, a principle captured by Hubble's law. This suggests the universe began from a single point, known as the Big Bang and has been evolving ever since. The cosmic microwave background radiation is a remnant of that hot, dense early universe, reinforcing the Big Bang model and offering insights into the universe's origins. Understanding cosmic expansion sheds light on the beginning, development, and possible fate of the cosmos. Conclusion The Interconnectedness of Time, Gravity, and the Cosmos Exploring time and gravity reveals a universe far more complex than our daily experience suggests. From the curvature of space-time to black holes and the nature of entropy, these concepts reshape how we understand reality. Scientific discovery continues to connect time, gravity, and the cosmos in unexpected ways. As knowledge grows, so too does our grasp of the universe's fundamental workings. Even simple observations like how things fall apart over time, remind us why time moves forward, like ice melting or a stirred cup of coffee never unstirring.